How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we got a furnace that's just not keeping up. So we're gonna go out there and see what we can find. Let's do some work. This video is sponsored by RLS, original, patented, proven. And by Diversitech, helping you simplify your work. All right, so that pretty much wraps up that call for right now. Um, as you can tell, flame sensor was just not reading uh, very well because it was dirty. It just needed to be cleaned. And once that was clean, the microamps went up 
and everything is good to go as far as that goes. The inducer um, was making a little bit of a racket. I think the uh, the wheel on the inside may have a little bit of slop to it on the hub, or it's just a little too close to the housing. Um, either way, I'm just gonna put that in the notes to uh, you know recommend replacing that assembly if it gets any louder. Uh, right now, it's not too bad, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, other than just a good cleaning to go through it and uh, just make sure everything's looking really good, that's pretty much it on this call. I mean, there's not much to it. It's a flame sensor. It's pretty simple, straightforward. But, you know, the reality is we come across a lot of things like this, right? It's the, the repetitive things. It's easy. It's quick. Um, but, you know, obviously you want to dive into it a little bit deeper. It's always best to go and check and do a lot of stuff as far as, uh, you know, temperature drop, gas pressure, things like that. But there are times where, you know, we don't really need to do that. We just need to get the, get the machine running and, um, you know, move on to the next one because I'm just backed up right now. I just got back from being out of town for AHR and I've got a lot of calls to run through right now today. So I don't have time to kind of go through all that, but if they decide to uh, replace that inducer, which I think they're going to, because they had uh, complained about hearing a little bit of a noise. So if I come back to replace that, I'll just go through it, uh, check the burners, check gas pressure, that sort of thing. So, but um, other than that, that's pretty much it for this call straightforward but that's how you want to check a flame sensor if you have a you know the, the gas is firing up and then shutting off kind of back and forth quickly uh typically that's a, a telltale sign that the flame sensor is just not getting a good current back to the board because it's probably dirty or it has a bad ground um, that sort of thing so that's how you you can quickly check it with your uh, voltmeter check micro amps you want to make sure that you put that sensor in series with your probes just like I did. And that way you can verify that it actually is reading low before you clean it. That's something that I like to do. Instead of just quickly uh, visually looking at it, cleaning it and putting it back in, I always like to test it first, just because I like to see what it was before I clean it and what it was after. It just makes me feel good in knowing, yep, okay, we know we had a low uh, measurement before, and now we have a proper measurement now, so we're good to go, right? It's just kind of a good way to double check yourself. So anyway, that's the video. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. You got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later.